Hi everybody, my name is Brian Dutton. I'm here showing you the Sabre audition material for Cypress 2015. Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to go through the actual choreography with the blade and then I'll give you the body underneath and then show you what it looks like and then I'll do a full breadth of everything start to finish. What you want to do is you want to grab the side of the hilt with your right hand and go into a cradle. You're going to lift this all the way up so your thumb should be underneath the hilt. You're going to flick like you're throwing a frisbee and you're going to take it all the way to the left side of your body and grab in a backhand. You want to grab just above the spot tape. From here, let the blade go out to the left, grab money hand underneath the hilt, flip up and get as close to the tip as possible. Even if you get all the way to the catch tape, there's a chance where you're going to do a little may spin and you can slide if you need to. Take this after the spin and go underneath your right leg and grab with the exact same hand you let go with. Go ahead and make it a front parallel attitude. Don't worry about going to the side. From here, take the blade down and go into a cradle. And put your left hand on top of your head, just kind of relax. You want to lift up out of your elbow and grab the catch tape on top of your head. Let the blade come behind you. You'll step with your right foot, throw the hilt toward the front corner and grab with the exact same hand you let go with. All right. With all that being said, when you start, you'll start in cradle. You're going to take a step with your right foot. You're going to lift up into left passe, and on the flip, step down, grab the blade out, go into a nice good second, small saute, up on that release, step across, do your spin up. This is where your hand goes on top of your head. Put all your weight on your left foot, out, and then underneath your leg. You want to make sure you go in far enough, and then reach back around. Once you step down with your right foot, immediately take your left foot and do a ton of flesh, left, right, and once you land, that's when you'll pop out of your hand. Pull, extend your right arm all the way up and over, and drive right behind your back. Roughly, that's the first two eighths. All right, give or take. From here, pull the blade down, flick all the way up so you grab at the catch tape. You're gonna be on the right side of the blade. You have to let it go down, do a little thumb flip, and throw a single and a half, go to the blade, excuse me, go to the hilt, and do a squeezy cheek. Flick all the way to this high 45. Your body underneath that looks like this. Take your right foot around and step from here. Throw, thumb flip, arabesque your left leg on the catch. Step, step, step. And you're just going to go left, right, left. I'll move over for a second. From here, you're going to pull the blade up, excuse me, the hilt up, go into a backhand at the edge of the blade, and go onto your shoulder. While you do that, take a chenet turn to the left. Left, right, left. You want to throw the hilt to the right side of the gym, or wherever you are. Let it swing down past your legs, grab in a backhand underneath the catch tape. You're going to throw a double. You want to throw it further back so it lands on the front side of you. Hilt should be up. Again, that was a double. Once you grab here, Sinead turn, left, right, throw. Immediately when you take that left step, throw the hilt down, grab. You're going to take your left leg down to the ground and roll underneath the toss. Make it nice and lofty so you get all the way around. From here, leave with the basket, take it all the way up, throw, and you want to re-grab at the Christine. Nice little arm gesture. Put your left hand behind you. From here, you're going to go into another cradle. Basket should be on top of your forearm. Come up through the toaster to flat and pull this all the way around. You should want the blade to balance on the left shoulder. So far, so good, hopefully. So, you're on the ground. You did your left low roll. You grabbed here. Take the hilt down, flip, arm gesture, pull. Now you're going to take a turn as you put it on your shoulder to the right, and it should be balancing the entire time. Once you get there, it should be underneath your chin. You're going to have a moment where you pause, take the blade back where it came from, you're going to send it around your back, it's hard to do on slow, send the blade around your back and grip underneath your right arm. You need to let the blade balance on the back of your shoulder blades, let it come up and over your head, it'll pass through you, lift your right arm and reach underneath it. It's, it will be very blind. You won't see it coming. You should be able to feel it on your back. Don't send too much force into it. It 
goes too fast, it'll fall right off your body. Just give it a nice little nudge and reach. Bad example, but less is more in this example. From here, take your left foot, step backward, flip, go back into the Christine, those of us that know, in between the catch tape or the spot tape and your basket. Once you get here, let me backtrack. Once you pull around, push and grab, go into a left attitude, so you wanna put weight on your right leg and do a reverse attitude, take it all the way around. Keep that blade low. You should end up back to the left side of the gym. Lift the basket up, past your forearm, grab the catch tape. Take the blade down behind you, lead with the uh, hilt, not the basket. Lift, grab in a backhand at the hilt, let this come all the way over, and then you're gonna pull out to the audience and throw a flat parallel toss. You wanna grab in the Christine again. Take this down low. Once the hilt passes your feet, lift it all the way up, let it do a full rotation. So the blade should be going to the audience at this moment. Grab the catch tape, a little swirl up. You're gonna push down, same thing that we did before. Thumb flip, pull to your dip, and then we'll throw a six. Uh, for time being, Choose your own adventure on your six, something that shows your skills. So here's what it looks like from start to finish, no music just yet. In your cradle, you lift up, passe, flip it all the way out, money hand, arabesque, grab, step, step, free hand on your head, under, and grab. Woo. Make sure it goes straight up in the toaster, don't move forward. Pull, right foot down, time to push, grab, lift up, pull, snake that around, leave with the upper body, and have a nice little pause moment here. Nice and stretch all the way through the top. Pull this around, nice little single, push, thumb flip, single, and grab, step, pull, high 45, little squeeze chain. Turn, pull it around on top of your body, throw, down, take your left foot down, excuse me, take your left foot down, sit roll, double, heel up. Throw all the way up and over, step back with your left foot. Pull around to your neck, push, do the turn with it. You can hold the blade if you need to for support. Once you get back to the audience, push, let it fall underneath your right arm. Left attitude and turn all the way around. Momentum helps there, it's hard to just hop. From here, we talked about taking the hilt up. When you do that, develop a nice little bop mod right there. Pull, back hand. When you unwind, go into a right, passe, as you step around. Pull this down, keep your hand on your shoulder, flip. Remember, blade to the audience here, it's more than you think. Pull this around, you're gonna do a little step, step, pull, lunge, and throw a six. My favorite six is just to take it all the way up, nice little bop mop, and catch. For right now, choose your own adventure on your six. Here's what it looks like with the music.